Hey guys, welcome to Wednesday Night Live. This is my first auction in a couple months, basically, since before Christmas. So I'm pretty excited about this. I have a lot of new awesome pieces um, and a bunch that you guys have never ever seen before. So that's really exciting. Um, so we'll give everyone a minute to tune in. But I'm going to keep the rules here the entire time, um, just so everybody knows. Each bid has a certain starting bid. Um, the next bid must beat the previous bid. Oh, hey, Tina. Hey, Veronica. Um, bidding on each item will last two minutes. Buyer pays shipping. Item must be paid for by PayPal, via PayPal by Friday. Hey, James. Welcome. Good to see you here. So if you have any questions, definitely let me know. Um, I know some people like absolutely can't use PayPal or something, in which case we can work something else out. No biggie. I'm pretty flexible. This is my email. So if you win a prize, you immediately email me with your address so that I can get you your shipping boat. Hey, Linda. We have some pretty exciting pieces. Clara. Hey, Clara. All right. Um, so, doo -doo 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 -doo. let's see. Hey, Lynn. We have about 26 people, it looks like. Hey, Roxy. So let's give everybody just like a, another minute. Does anyone have any questions about how the art auction works? All right, we're almost up to 50. Don't forget your thumbs up, guys. We do have a couple um, giveaways tonight as well. So I'm going to do my best to remember those and we'll be fun. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's going to be a crazy night. <laughs> yeah. Giveaways are always fun. Okay, great. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I just want to make sure everyone can see the timer. I have a little bit of attention on the fact that I didn't fully charge this. So I have it at half brightness. Is that bright enough for y'all to see it? I think it should be. It looks good on my end. Come on. This case is so old. I don't have anything that's new, you guys. <laughs> I've had this um, tablet for so long. All right, here's our first piece. This is a 10 by 10 acrylic on canvas. It's called Walk Softly. Starting bid is $20. So I'm gonna start the timer and then I'll come around and I'll do a bit of a, bit more of a close up. So start. There we go. Oh, hey babe. <laughs> hey Mariel. Welcome, welcome. So I super love this one. This was done with the Arteza paints bright bold wild and crazy just like me hey bobby so starting bid on this one is twenty dollars each piece of course comes signed and sealed ready to deliver signed sealed delivered i'm yours yep there that just happened <laughs> and i have my moderators who are going to help me keep track of this if there's ever any questions because sometimes there's a delay so they're kind of the final answer on any winners okay hello everybody deborah pouring paint hey terry <laughs> no i'm still too shy hey dusty hey caitlin i think maybe by the time i'm like 50 or 60 or 70 or 100. I will not be as shy with singing, <laughs> but we'll see. All right, this is uh, going once, going twice. Is Judy here? Where's Judy? Hello from North Carolina. Yeah, where's everyone watching from, you guys? We got Dallas in the house. Oh, it's Maria. <laughs> okay. Australia, Nebraska, Kentucky, Iowa, K 
Canada. This is so fun. Represent. Tennessee, I'm working on um, coming your way soon. Okay, so no bid on that one. So we just go ahead and put it aside. And we're going to go on to the next one. So the next one is, I have a lot of 10 by 10s. I've been doing a lot of 10 by 10s recently. For some reason, they're my current favorite size. So this one is called Death Mask. It's also a 10 by 10. Um, starting bit is 25 on this one. I'm going to come around. This is super gorgeous, really bright, um, sparkly, <laughs> metallic. That's the word. It's not like glittery. So starting the timer. And then I'm going to come around. Aw, thank you so much, Sam. Okay. Doo -doo -doo. So you can see the metallic here. I love the ones on this one. Just gorgeous. Gorgeous, I tell ya. So starting bit on this one's 25. And guys, just so you don't know, the shipping on most uh will be in between will be probably around 10 bucks. So obviously the bigger pieces, it'll be more, but on something like this, it's not going to be more than 10 bucks to the U.S., that is. Hey, Judy. Welcome, welcome. So we got one minute left on this one. Starting bid's 25. And Texas, just so you guys know, I did schedule my next Texas class in Seguin. So Clara and I will be there <laughs> and um, yeah, if anyone can make it to that, it's going to be super duper duper fun. Also bringing my husband and my daughter this time. Hey, Julie. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> All right. 30 seconds left on this one. Going once, going twice. I also had a thought. I was going to kind of run it by you guys. Um, what... Would you guys be interested in like a furniture auction where, cause I've been doing a lot of tables. So it'd be like side tables and stuff like that, a furniture auction. Also, I was thinking I could probably do like a, a vase auction specifically. Cause I have a lot of those. Okay. Um, 210. Tina, can you get the, uh, the link for the Texas class? So just in case anyone wants to check it out. All right. So moving right along, moving right along. Yeah, I'm kind of piling up on furniture. <laughs> I have sold some of them, but it helps when you put them up for sale and I don't generally do that, which is part of the problem. All right, so the next one, also a 10 by 10. Don't worry, they're not all gonna be 10 by 10s. This one is called Alien Seed. <laughs> Starting bid is twenty dollars. Um, Tina is hopefully grabbing the yep. Yeah, Tina's grabbing the link for the class. Okay, guys. So for anyone interested, she'll have that in just a second. So here we go on this. I'm coming around for the close up. Thank you, guys. This one, really pretty. So it's uh, purple and bronze and blue, basically. Once again, a 10 by 10, starting bid, $20. Bring that down. Here we go. All right, we have Clara at 20. I literally always have the Jeopardy song running through my head when I do these. Do, 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 do. Okay. I was smart and brought a bottle of water this time. <laughs> You're welcome. Hey, Dina. How did I do that painting? That's a really good question. Um, 
I am pretty sure that this one was a strainer pour, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm not entirely certain on this one. I've been doing so much painting recently. <laughs> Yeah, no worries. Looks like we got it. Also, um, Veronica, there is a uh, Facebook link as well. So, thanks, Penny. Hey, Heather. All right, is anyone going to outbid Clara or is this one going to be hers? Going once, going twice. And it's Clara's. Okay, good. All right, next we have a vase. I need that. So we do have three vases tonight. Yep. And the question is, where did I put the first one? Hold on a sec, guys. Oh, there it is, okay. <laughs> Okay, good. So this first one, and all the vases um, are sealed with resin. If they're not sealed yet, I do have one that's not sealed yet. It will be. So this one is a Firestone vase. These are about seven inches high. Acrylic sealed with resin. So I'll do a little more of a close up in a second. Uh, starting bids $12. I will tell you the shipping on vases is a little bit more expensive, like $13, $14 usually. So just keep that in mind, starting the timer. And also guys, if you win more than one prize, like more than one canvas, I can of course package them together. Uh, the vases have to be packaged separately. So sealed with resin. I even remembered to sign this one, <laughs> shockingly. I never remember to sign the vases. So super pretty. Oops, my bad. <laughs> well, you got some extra time on that one. Don't have any fake flowers to put in there, but there we go, okay. <laughs> All right, so we have Stacy at 12. Um, and Delita at 13. Okay. Yeah, Maria, we do, uh, yeah, let's keep the comments all nice and happy, guys. <laughs> all right, we've got Alita at 13. For anyone that's just tuning in, um, I do have another class coming up in Seguin that got scheduled. The link was posted earlier. I'll make sure it gets into the description. But it's going to be super fun. We're doing uh, acrylic. <laughs> Thank you, Veronica. Acrylic pouring and resin art. So it's really geared towards art. So this wouldn't be like if you wanted to start a countertop business, this wouldn't necessarily be the um, the class for you. But unless you want to do really artistic countertops, actually, like I did beach themed countertops. So if you want to do stuff like that, then definitely the class for you. All right, Stacy at 14. Thank you, Veronica. Yeah, there's the link for the class. For anyone that needs info, it's going to be hella fun, hecka fun, I don't know. That was so like 1990s. Here we go. Okay. So we got Stacy at 14 on that one. So guys, do not forget to email me. I will move this up slightly. Oh, there it goes. Uh, don't forget to email me with your address. So Stacy must be 14 so that I can get you your shipping. Okay, moving right along. Next one, we have some coasters. Judy has seen these ones. Um, 
So these are, um, where's the, uh, there we go. <laughs> Just a set of two coasters. Starting bid's only eight bucks. These ones are purple and bronze with some fun mermaid glitter in there. <laughs> so I'll start the timer and they'll come around. And shipping on these will be definitely inexpensive. So, hey Monica, yay, you're here. It feels like I haven't seen you in like a million years. <laughs> um, I love this mermaid glitter. So this is the front and then this is the back. So the back is also really cool. Got some pink in there. This back is not as exciting, but yeah. So it's bronze, glitter, um, purple. There we go. $9.50. <laughs> I guess I don't have a rule on that, but let's try to do, uh, what is it, like solid amounts or whatever? Whole numbers. Let's try to do whole numbers. Okay, so we have Sarah at 12. Sarah, I think you already have quite the collection, right, of mixed media girl pieces. And I think we'll do probably two giveaways, one after number 10 and one after 20. That's what I'm thinking. Just two? Okay. Well, <laughs> that's a start. We'll work on that. We'll work on that. <laughs> Resin sun catchers. I haven't, but I really want to. Um, they would be color fast, but they would yellow. But I think if you take your colors into uh, consideration with that, it won't really matter. Okay. So that goes to, I think, Sarah. Moving right along. Okay. Next one, this is a piece that you guys haven't seen. Oh wait, no, this one I think you have seen. I got it confused with another one. <laughs> my bad, my bad, okay. Another 10 by 10 canvas. This one is um, whale tail. Starting bit is 25 and this one's actually all done. I'll show you guys the back in a second. I'm gonna start the timer. Um, so this is how the backs will look. They'll be all cleaned up and then I sign it, of course. I mean, some of them will look nicer than this, <laughs> depending on how messy they were. Veronica, we have, I think, 29 pieces, I think. Okay, I'm gonna come around and do the close-up on this. It's, like I said, it's been a couple months since I've done an art auction, so. <laughs> I need also to put some new pieces up in my Etsy store. I just, holidays and the class, it's been insane. This one's already all sealed and everything, so you can, um, it's all shiny. Yeah, I have two more vases. So this is the current one. Starting bid, 25 on that one. <laughs> okay, let me get the next one ready. There. This next one is the one I was thinking of. You guys haven't seen this one yet. Um, even stone coat will yellow in the sun, unfortunately. Monica, that's amazing. Welcome to my ceiling. <laughs> Hold on. Come on. <laughs> YouTube crashed. 
You guys can see the huge canvas I have up in my rafters. <laughs> Sorry about that. Dang, YouTube. Okay. The show must go on. All right, so we're moving right along. I don't think we had any bids on that one. I blame big screen bird. <laughs> Refresh if you need to. All right, so this one is gorgeous. It's so pretty. Um, cuttlefish, also 10 by 10. Hi, Cynthia. <laughs> <laughs> just for fun that's why I'm blaming you I'm back on I can't refresh you gotta refresh your your screens okay so I'm gonna start the timer here and then I'll come back around yeah definitely getting a close-up this one is super pretty um okay <laughs> Yeah, I've been having some internet issues today, so I'm really sorry about that, guys. All right, this one's purples and teals and bronze as well, because those are not my favorite colors. Um, and the lines on this one are just gorgeous. I do still need to seal it, so it'll be even a little bit better when sealed. But yeah, love it. So starting bid is 20. Okay, we got Lauren at 22. <laughs> uh, prophetess. Um, honestly, my help, husband helps me with that. He's got a more twisted mind than me. <laughs> uh, Maria, I hope you can come back. The Artist Loft pre-mixed paint usually takes about 24. <laughs> 24 hours to cure. All right, so we have Lauren at 22 for this one. Do, 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 do. Is anyone waiting for anything in particular? Just curious, like vases or we do have three clocks also. I tried to spread everything out so they're not right next to each other. And then I do, as usual, put kind of the bigger or more expensive pieces at the end. We don't have any like super expensive pieces tonight. Um, okay. So we got, <laughs> we're good. <laughs> That's true, big screen bird. We could definitely do that. All right, so for that one, we have Lauren at 22. Okay, so yeah, they take about 24 hours to dry. The one, the Artist Loft pre-mix paints generally dry a little faster than my normal mixture. Cure time. Yes, you won, Lauren. Cure time depends on temperature, how much paint you put on your canvas and left there, and other things. So that can take, I think, two to four weeks. I know most people say four, but that is just kind of like on, to be on the safe side. So it's not necessarily accurate. If you live in a very hot, dry climate, it's going to be a lot faster. All right, next we have another vase. Now this one I have not sanded the top parts off yet because I'm actually gonna add one more layer of resin to. This one, I don't know if you guys remember. It is gorgeous. Uh, basically blue and silver and black. Ice Falls vase, starting bid is 12. Once again, I'm gonna start the timer and then I come around, do the close up. Thank you, Holly. Um, I have noticed that the Artist Loft Ready Mix paint does remain tackier, so I definitely seal those. Oh, God, I love this one so much. 
If anyone wants to buy this and give it to me, that's okay too. So pretty. Yep. So I'm going to put one more layer of resin on it and then I'll be sanding the top. Look how pretty it is. Uh oh, out of focus. So there you go. Do, 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 do. Oh, dang. I did forget to eat dinner though. Okay, so we have Big Screen Bird at 14. It's going once, it's going twice. Gabrielle at 16. Gabrielle at one T, <laughs> one Y. Oh my goodness, Tina. <laughs> well, that's cool, Lisa. Shipping cost um, for the vases anywhere in the U.S. is generally about 13 bucks. That's what I have found. Yeah, Johnny's not home, actually. He's actually out babysitting three little boys, which is really cute <laughs> for a friend of ours. All right, Penny at 17. At least I have water. And I do have a lot of paint I could eat, you know. Just kidding, guys. Just kidding. <laughs> I should start keeping snacks in the studio. That would be wise. <laughs> right? Okay, we got Linda at 19. She got in there right last second. So, Linda, 19. Just another reminder, guys. As soon as you win any of the pieces, please email me with your shipping address, okay? Excellent. Moving right along. Okay. So now we have, oh, our first resin piece. This one's exciting. This is, where's my label? <laughs> Purple sea lion. It's a wild one. And this is about, um, it actually says 11 by 11 here, but it's not. It's like 12 by 12, actually. Um, so I'll start the timer and this has two layers of resin on it. Starting bit on this one is 40. Did I start the timer? Yes. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Fridge for the garage. That's a good idea. So I like wild and crazy. So this painting is perfect for me <laughs> and it's on MDF. I think I said that. So it's wood. And of course we have the reflection from the resin, but super pretty, all different kinds of purples. I made that one in Las Vegas with uh, ATD. <laughs> um, Kayla, do you mean this one? Is that the one? The one from the video today? This is MDF. It's uh, medium density fiberboard. Um, Kayla, that's a great question. I honestly toyed with putting it in tonight's auction, but it's just not 100% dry yet. It's like 99% dry. So it will likely go up onto Etsy. To be perfectly honest, I'm going to be putting some new stuff on Etsy later this week. And I am still working on getting my website up. And once I get my website up, I will no longer have Etsy. All of my pieces will be up on my website. If there's anything you're interested in, though, go ahead and email me because I don't mind cutting out Etsy as a middleman. That saves everybody money. Nobody needs to give money to Etsy. I don't like those guys. <laughs> so... All right, we got Maris at 40. Krista Lee, do you want to bump yours up for a second? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Krista Lee, we missed you. Oh, I think that I couldn't see the timer on that one. I don't know. 
Come on, behave. Time for a new case. Sorry about that. Okay. Yeah, I don't like Etsy. So, Morris, congrats. Send me your address. Hang around. And all of these will have, the boards will all have hanging mechanisms. So we do have a few more MDF boards. Okay. Da, 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 da. Morris, five, nine, five, one. Excellent. Next, we have another 10 by 10. I did warn you, it's gonna be a lot of 10 by 10s. This one's fun because it's different colors. <laughs> Other than only blues, I do a lot of blues. So starting bid on this one is 20. Starting the timer, come around, do a close up. This one is Rainbow Fright. We wanted to name it Rainbow Bright, but didn't want to get in trouble. <laughs> this was with the Arteza Ready Mix paints. And I love it because it's actually got depth. Like you can actually see layers. If your thing is out of focus, you likely need to up the resolution on your video. So you can do that by going to your settings and you'll see that it probably has a resolution of like anything less than 700. <laughs> you may also need to refresh, but uh, big screen bird. Yes, actually. It's not me guys. It's on your end. You need to up the resolution on your video. <laughs> I unfortunately can't do anything about that. So go to your settings and make sure that it's in HD your quality. It should be at least 720 or above. Okay. Um, Linda, yours is Ice Falls Vase and it was number eight. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm all clear on my end. So just make sure your resolution is up so that you can see the pieces in all their beauty. No problem, Joy. Thank you for joining us. All right, I've got 20 seconds on this one. Going once, going twice. After this, I think we'll do a little giveaway. If I can figure out where my mind is. Yep, there it is, found it. <laughs> Francis Bacon, I can see that. Oh, oh, there it is. Okay, so Tina, get ready. If you get dizzy easily, you might want to not participate. We're going to do a giveaway, and it's going to be for a necklace. And this is going to be shipping included and everything. So I'm going to show you it in a second. And then what we're going to do is we're going to play a numbers game. <laughs> do not start throwing numbers at me yet, or I'll be mad. Not really. I don't really get mad, but you know. All right. So pick a number between one and a hundred. This is the giveaway necklace. And the first person to get the right number will win. I'm going to watch as closely as I can. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Do, 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 do. Keep going, keep going. You can guess more than one number, but YouTube might cut you off at some point. I have zero control over that. Okay, keep going, keep going. Not yet, not yet. Oh, someone's really close. Oh, geez. Okay, halt. Debbie. Ah, Debbie, Debbie, Debbie. There it is. Debbie H. The number was 42. Okay, you guys are going to keep going for a while, but it was Debbie H. <laughs> so, Debbie, go ahead and email me your address info at the painter in you.com and I will get that shipped to you don't worry you guys we have another one coming you can keep throwing out numbers but from here on out it will be taken as a bid <laughs> on the next item okay so uh oh low battery oh no okay so 
The next one is Shocker, another 10 by 10. Okay. And Tina, I'm very sorry, but at here at this point, the numbers get incorrect. <laughs> All right. This one is called Lost Seal. This is actually item 11. 10 by 10. You guys have not seen this one. Um, this is one, if you remember the horrible paint day I was having, this is one that I made that day. <laughs> and it was uh, supposed to be something completely different, but I love how it turned out. And I'm sad that I didn't have it on video. So, um, let's see. I'm just going to, one second, guys. I'm just checking something. Oh, you are right. You know what? You're totally right. I'm so sorry. Okay, well, the winner was Jay, actually. You are completely right. My bad. <laughs> um, I'm still going to coat this. So I'm so sorry, Debbie. I don't know if you heard me announce you as a winner, but it actually was Jay. Thank you, Big Screen Bird. I'm so sorry that I missed that. <laughs> yep, the numbers go by so fast, but it's a good thing we can scroll back and verify. So Jay, go ahead and send me your address, and I'm very sorry. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start the timer for this one. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so sorry, Debbie. I feel bad. Um, the purple piece was number nine, purple sea lion. Okay, starting bit on this, 20 bucks. And guys, feel free to super chat at any time. I will not stop you. <laughs> so this is also like definitely not my usual color scheme. It's it's actually really cool. Um, and once it's sealed, it will pop a lot more as well. I'm, yeah, what, like I said, I'm really sad I did not have this one on video because it's amazing, actually. It was, like I said, during that horrible paint day, and it was, like, a mess. <laughs> and so I scrapped the video. So I thought. I think I saw someone ask for a close-up on the necklace. I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. Just for funsies. Uh, Tina, you keep track in your order. This was just a typo. So I'm not sure. The next one might say 12 or it might say 13. I'm not sure. I don't know how that said 12 instead of 11. Um, here's the necklace. I made this one a couple weeks ago out of a, an acrylic pore skin. I love it. There we go. Okay, good. So I think we have a bid on this one already. Right, we have Sarah at 20. Okay. Yes, this one will have a glossy finish. And that will make the colors just pop right out of there. I like the accidental contrast in this one too. Okay, we got Crystal Lee at 25. Oh, did we get Sarah? Okay, Sarah. Oh, Sarah got in there last second. I almost missed that one. Okay. <laughs> Crystal Lee, we got you. You're going to get one tonight. We got you. Connie, the number game is over. You're a little late. You might need to refresh. Okay. Sarah. 20. Okay. Right. Oops. Wrong one. All right. We have some more coasters. <laughs> so these ones. I love it. These are called No Escape Coasters. They look like roses but they also look like, um, <laughs> like tunnels, like, yeah. Uh, resin coasters, starting bids only eight bucks. Shipping on these, not super expensive. Definitely on the lighter side. I'm gonna start the timer. No, she's not bidding. She needs to refresh. 
Connie, please refresh your screen. <laughs> yeah, wormhole coasters. So Stacy's, I'm assuming actually bidding, not guessing the number eight. Oh, my name's gold. I feel so special. Okay. So these ones, uh, purple, blue, and gold, and just the blue, white, and gold. My favorite colors. Love these. And they're about four and a half inches. I mean, they're coasters. So these are definitely, they're made for, uh, they have heat resistance. So they'll do totally fine with hot drinks. Cold drinks will, you know, the condensation, they're not absorbed. They will not absorb, but really pretty. Okay. So I'm pretty sure that Charlotte is, needs to refresh, refresh. And we have Morris at 10 for this one. <laughs> Sometimes there can be such a delay on these things. It makes it kind of difficult. I'm glad we're having no more buffering issues. That's good. All right, 19 crooked pictures. We have 11. I love your username. All right, Danette at 12. Let me see. Fogelsanger? Fogelsanger? The net Fogel singer. <laughs> Babe, I show 50 thumbs up. Over here. All right, Maris at 14. Oh. Okay, I show Maris at 14. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, even on the thumbs up, sometimes there's delays. Okay. <laughs> Oh, this next one. So I think someone, what was it, Big Screen Bird? Was it you that asked about the uh, green? So I think this is probably the most green piece. This one is Lettuce Patch. <laughs> Love this. Uh, I made this with the um, tumbler, the tumbler that I did a few days ago or a week, week or two ago. Anyways. So starting the timer, this is a 10 by 10. Starting bid is 20, yeah. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Krista Lee. I'm so sad I didn't get to see you last weekend. All right, and yeah, this one, lots of green. So primarily green and blue with pops up of yellow. Oh, we have one of the clocks too also is primarily green. I did it with paint. <laughs> I don't think that was your question. Uh, this is one of the, um, I, I painted a tumbler and this was the canvas under the tumbler, which gives you that really cool like feather pattern. Well, Angie, if there's something that you really want to bid on, I'm sure we can work it out. I wouldn't stress too much. Um, dang it, the tumbler's in the house. I don't have it out here. Like a coffee cup kind of thing? Mm -hmm. I could maybe, yeah, it's like a coffee cup kind of thing. But this is a cold, I think it's a cold drink one. I'm not sure. I think it's actually good for cold or hot drinks. I can actually grab it. It'll take me less than two minutes to grab it. So on the next one, when I start the timer, I'll go run and grab it to show you because it's actually really pretty. And I resined it. So, but yeah, we do have a clock coming up that is primarily green as well. Okay, we got Angie at 25. Whoop, you didn't see anything. Oh, did Krista get in there? All right, moderators, call that. 
I missed I missed the very end of it. Angie 28. Okay. Okay, good. Moving right along. So the next one is shocking. Another 10 by 10. What? I think it's this one. Yep. Death Unveiled. Canvas and tumbler as a set. That would be probably a good idea. <laughs> get myself a snack when I get the tumbler. That's a great idea. Okay. So I'm going to do the close up on this one first, and then I'll start the timer because then I'm going to run into the house. <laughs> All right. So this is the next one. As usual, blues and then gold bronze. Shocker. Vase and canvas. Yeah, you know, I've done that before and it like people wanted them separately. So that's why I usually don't do them together. But if I am selling both in the same auction, I'll try to do them back to back. Okay, so timer, uh, starting bid's 20 bucks and go. I'll be right back. Behave, Tina, you're in charge or Clara, maybe. Did I make it? <laughs> oh my God, there's have so much time to spare. I went pee, I had a snack, I grabbed the cup, and I pet the kitten. <laughs> All right, I'll show you, uh, I'll show you the cup after this one. All right. I know, right? I am impressed. With Gabrielle at 24. Um, I call her kitten, but Johnny likes calls her pepper. <laughs> okay. Woo! <laughs> the kitty is pepper. All right, I think Krista Lee got in right under the last second on that one. Moderators? Yep, that's what I saw. Okay. Whew. Um, so, I would love to show you the kitten, but I have some temporarily sad news. She's actually very sick, which I'm really sad about. We've had her, what, for less than two weeks. Um, so we took her to the, the vet. She's on some medicine. And um, I know, I'm really super sad. Uh, but I think by next week, she should be totally fine. Um, she's actually looking even a lot better now. But yeah, she's kind of in a confinement with her own little food and water. And she's got nice blankets and everything to be warm i know it's very sad so yeah next auction i'm not gonna sell her but i'll show you <laughs> okay so here is the tumbler that went with that canvas so this is resin i didn't do the top i just did the the cup and surprisingly on this one it didn't even need any sanding 
But I like these because you don't have to worry about uh, the food safeness because you have a straw. Plus, I didn't paint the lid even. So there you go. So that's why I was kind of thinking of doing, I have actually quite a few tumblers now. <laughs> so I was thinking of doing like a tumbler and base auction coming up. But yeah, okay. Moving right along. We have the next vase. Whew. This one <laughs> is a dosi de leche vase. This one hasn't been resined yet. It still needs to be resined, but I am so in love with this and it's so not my usual color schemes, which makes it really exciting. So it's got lots of gold and orange. It is so pretty. So it's gonna need to be resined, but um, I use the stone coat countertops. So starting bid is 12, starting the timer. Those tumblers I got at Michael's, believe it or not with all my coupons, but I think they're, um, I don't know if they're getting <laughs> all about that base, about that base, no trouble. Uh, they're getting rid of them, which really sucks because they're really great and the price point is pretty perfect. This to me actually really looks like wood. I mean, not the bottom, the bottom looks like a party, but the sides and it's got this beautiful gold that I love. Yeah, someone could definitely buy me this one too. <laughs> That's a song I could probably sing. <laughs> because you know I'm all about that bass, about that bass. <laughs> okay, so we have Tammy at 19. Wait, where would I put what? What did I miss? What did I forget I said? Where would I put? Oh, in the vase? Oh, good Lord. Who knows? That's a great question. I got enough shelves. I like flowers. I like flowers. <laughs> My husband buys me flowers. So I actually use vases quite a bit. Yeah, we'll be... This will be resined, definitely. All right, we have Fran at 25, not Fram, Tina. <laughs> Silly vanilla. Fran. Let me see. Simon, Simon Tachi. Let me know if I said that right. I like to try. Hey, Shannon. Welcome, welcome. You just missed a little bit of the excitement, but not too bad. I was close. Simon, Simon Tachi? Simon Tachi? <laughs> okay. So I think Gabrielle got in there in the last second. Hey, Patricia. All right, Gabrielle at 26. And guys, I know it's sometimes we can forget, but don't forget to send me your address, okay? That way I can get you the shipping because I'm not a mind reader and I don't know where any of you live. Okay. Now we have, um, oh, one of the clocks. Excellent. So this is the first one I haven't, I haven't um, attached the, the clock mechanism yet. So I'm very sorry about that. You'll have to slightly use your imagination. Yeah, that's fine, Maria or Morris. Morris, right? Yeah, if you're if you're getting more than one item, you can send it at the end. Um, so the clock mechanism that it will be sent with, and these are resin too. It looks like so that you're gonna get a sneak peek to one of the next clocks, but it looks like this. And I'll send it in the, the packaging so that we don't have to worry about them getting bent or anything. It's very easy to assemble. So big screen bird, this is the one I was talking about. That's a lot of green. Um, bugger, where did I put the thingy? Oh, here it is. So starting bid on this is 30. And this is acrylic pour on a vinyl record sealed with resin. 
hand painted numbers. Come on, work with me here. Starting the timer. Oh goodness. Okay. <laughs> I'll come around and do the close up. So just imagine the clock mechanism in the middle. I didn't have time to put it in. Sorry. Whew, sometimes life gets hectic. Yes, absolutely. All of these. Um, well, the, the um, clock mechanism has a hanger itself on the back. I'll show you. It is outside the box. And now I feel bad because I haven't actually finished the backs of these yet either. So just ignore that factor. But it has a, a hanging mechanism on the back. Yeah. So, <laughs> tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> Starting bid on this is 30. We got one more minute left. Add some water. So guys, for anyone who's interested, I went to, uh, there was a local record store that was going out of business, but even before that, like if you live anywhere near a record store, they often have boxes of throwaway bins of records that don't have covers and they're too scratched up for them to sell. And they will either give them to you for free or they'll cost like 25 cents. Um, so that's, I got a whole stack of them from a record store that they were just gonna pretty much just get rid of them. And I was like, don't waste it, I'll paint on them. I don't recommend painting on like nice ones that could still be played so there's a little pro tip for you okay maris at 32. i prep them with um i prep them with paint and primer <laughs> oh my goodness so i have i don't know you guys duke that one out. <laughs> it's either uh, Sarah or Morris. Um, I have two more clocks. I have three clocks total. Yeah, I'm not sure on that one. <laughs> okay, we're gonna move along and we'll we'll come back to that one on the winner as uh, as the moderators figure it out. Okay, next one. Please hold. I think it's this one. Yep. Okay. This is another 10 by 10 canvas. Okay. So we have Sarah at 33. Okay, good. Thank you guys. And thank you for being understanding as well. We do the best we can. <laughs> All right. So I got you there, Sarah. So this is a 10 by 10 as well. I will come around for the close-up, starting the timer. Um, starting bid is 20. Coming around. Yeah, guys, just so you know, if there is ever a piece that you see in a video, feel free to message or email me immediately without waiting for it to go into a store. And I will usually give you a killer price on it. So just as an FYI, little known secret, there's some people that buy paintings before you like ever would get the option to because they just message me. Of course, there's more purple coming. As I say that, I have no idea. Let me look. There's definitely another purple resin piece. Um, let me check. One second. I use purple in a lot of my paintings. So, yeah, there's a, a clock next. And then um, the last clock is, let's see, in like four more items. It died. <laughs> Oh no, I know. 
Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, it's still alive, just you can't see it. Okay, so, oops, now I just restarted it. Okay, yeah, it went out. So, time's up on that one. I don't think we had any bids. Man, life is getting rough. So rough. Just one of those nights, you know? Just one of those nights. <laughs> yeah, power saving mode. Eat. The problem with that thing is it's so old. Even if I have it plugged in while it's out here, it's going to die anyways. Okay, so we do have another clock next. It's this one. And this one is ready to go, except I need to sand some of the edges. So, do I need a timer? Ooh, that would be awesome. No, there was no bid on that one. I didn't, not, not that I saw it anyway. So yeah, I'm in love with this one. It is so delicate. It's purple, gold, blue. Yeah, but uh, Casey, the starting bid was 20 on that one. <laughs> okay, so the starting bid on this is 30. Um, if someone has, uh, <laughs> just start a mental timer. I'm gonna go get another one. I'll be right back. <laughs> Behave. feel like I was gone about 40 seconds, so I'm going to put 120 on here. <laughs> you guys are super the best with all your patience. Okay. I'll use the, uh, this to prop it up. Let's see, which way is it bigger? Well, it's definitely not as good. That's why I like to use the tablet, because it's much bigger. But that, at least we can see. Oh, thank you, Clara. You're the best. <laughs> okay, so we have Morris at 44. Angie, 45. And let me do a little more of a close-up on this. There we go. Super pretty. I also really think this one looks like stone. Even though obviously it's not really stone colors particularly, but just the lines in it. Super glossy. All right, Maris at 46. I will even attempt to remember to include batteries, you guys. <laughs> Okay, I think we had Marius at 49. Does everybody else have that too? Let's see if I can make this clock bigger. Two. Nope, he wants to be a butthead. Okay. Okay, we had Angie at 48. Okay, great. Go ahead and message me. Oh, bugger. That one's down there. And now we have a 14 by 14 canvas. Switching it up a little bit. This one is with the Artist Loft Ready Mixed Paint. Uh-oh. Okay. You want to go ahead and double check? Because it looks like we have more Morris. Tina, go ahead and double check, okay? All right, we'll come back to that one. Oh, okay. You know what, since Angie agrees, we have, we're good, we're golden. So it's Morris, yay! Awesome, that makes me feel happy. Okay, 
Ah, get in there. So this is a 14 by 14. And one zip. I appreciate you guys having patience. I'm going to start the timer. That is good. Okay, and then I'll come around. To be sand batteries make them only alkaline in the post office is weird. Good to know. That is really good to know. <laughs> okay, this one is called Phoenix Submerged because it's got all the really cool, like, feathers. Look at that. Um, it's got a lot of interesting things on here. Oh, really crazy patterns. Oh, you can see my face. <laughs> All right. And this is with the Artist Loft Ready Mix paint. So it is glossy already, but I do still like to seal it. And it's a 14 by 14. Starting bid 45. Yes, Tina, you're doing great. Everybody's more or less happy, I think. If they're not, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yep, you remember this piece? It's a bit. This um, this is the one, right? Isn't this the one that went with this? I feel like it is. Pretty sure. That would make sense because they're identical colors. <laughs> Yeah, this can totally be done on a countertop. Definitely. All right. Teal or gold? I have teal and gold in everything. That's a really hard question to answer. I definitely have, um, I definitely have gold coming up. Let's see, what do I have? I'm going to go down my list. Is Judy still here? Did Judy leave? Okay, we got Clara at 45. Judy, Judy, going once, going twice. No, no, okay. Uh, the vase actually already sold. Yep. She sold. Okay. So we have, we're going to do some more coasters and then we're going to do a quick giveaway and then we are getting, starting to get into some of the more special pieces <laughs> for me. Like the, I tend to put my favorite, favorite, favorite ones at the end, which is really hard because they're all my favorite. So, okay. Chewie's not here. Hi, Rhonda. Okay. So next, we have some more coasters. I was going to do these as a set of four. But Judy really, really wanted two of them. And she really helped me out with my recent class. So I'm just going to do the other two. <laughs> I know, right? An artist always says that. So I'm going to show you the ones you guys can't have. Just to be mean, these are the ones Judy wanted. <laughs> so I was going to tell her I was giving them to her, but she left. She probably went to bed because normal people do that. So even though this says $20, it's not. I know, I know. So starting bid here is $10, and then I'll come around. These are on um, aluminum panels. They're acrylic pores, and then they're sealed with resin, and they're gorgeous. I'm just saying, just saying. So I haven't peeled the stickers off the back yet, because you know me. But uh, they're alu rims, really durable. They're intended for painting in and sealed with resin, so they're good to go for hot drinks. And they also have a little lip here, which I like. Yeah, starting bid's only 10 bucks, and uh, shipping on these is also not going to be super expensive. They're small and lightweight, so a little bit cheaper on the shipping, especially if bundled with something else. <laughs> All right. 
Well, we have fire and ice. They do match. <laughs> Depends on your definition of match. Okay, we have Stacy at 12. Danette at 13. The blue one up close. Oh yeah, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. My bad, my bad. Okay, so here's the red. And here's the blue. So, has um, purple, too. Little hints of purple, at least. All right, 25 seconds. Going once, going twice. Okay, we have Danette at 13. I know, I love these, too. They're so great. Chinese New Year. No, I can see that. <laughs> All right, going once, going twice. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> All right, Danette at 13. Okay, great. Now we have, is Linda still here? No? Linda Plummer, are you here? Anyways. There's always like people that that I, I think of them when I make a painting. <laughs> so this one is also on it's on MDF. Oh, you're here. Yay. <laughs> and this is 11 by 11. This is seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by my seashore. That didn't come out right. <laughs> All right, starting the timer and then I'll come around. This one has a lot of texture. It's got actual real sand in there. Slightly dusty. Start. Uh, starting bit on this one is 40. We'll come around. So this is epoxy on wood. And then it has the actual sand in there and the shells. And it is beautiful. If I do say so myself. <laughs> I know, I love it. I love it. I'm not biased. <laughs> I have been in a total beach mode recently. I'm not entirely sure why, but I blame Linda. It's her fault. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Barbie. Yes. Well, I put resin down first and then sand and then a little more resin on top. So I did want to leave the texture on this one. I have other ones that I've put sand on and I've put several layers of resin, but. <laughs> um, Caroline, you don't have to. Um, you can wait as long as you want, really. And it also kind of depends on what what you're using to paint with, I guess. But it, yeah, just acrylic paint. Some people say you don't even need to seal it. I think for durability you should, but it is, acrylic is plastic. So, yeah. Oh, you don't have PayPal? That's okay. Um, go ahead and send me an email with your address. Uh, we could also do Venmo or uh, Cash App or whatever. Um, I use the sawtooth hangers on the back. Okay, we have Linda at 48. Oh, look at that. She got in there right under the timer. <laughs> Good going. Okay. All right, we have another clock. Boom. And then this is the last clock for the night, guys. So, for anyone interested... All right, this is definitely purple. Purple and gold. Oh my gosh, yeah. Someone said purple. <laughs> All right, birds of prey clock. Starting bid is 30. I'll go ahead and start the timer, come around, and do our close up. So. me <laughs> oh, 
Oh, thank you, Barbie. Yay. Okay, guys, I just have to say, I'm so proud of myself that I got all the Christmas cards out before Christmas. Now, granted, about 100 of them went out on Christmas Eve, but hey, they all went out before Christmas. So, I was really happy with that. It's so much work handwriting hundreds of cards, you guys. <laughs> Yeah, it still counts. Last year, I didn't finish until, what was it, like, almost March. It was the end of February <laughs> when I finished last year. So, I definitely did way better this year. And this next year, I'll do even better. <laughs> Try to get them out by, like, the mid... Yeah, end of February last year. <laughs> You should frame that. I put a lot of hard work into those. It's like a work of art in itself. It's a record. Okay, we got Angie at 48. I love when we have bidding wars. Renee at 50, Angie at 52. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be down to the last second. Okay, Angie at 52. I think we all got the same thing. Boom, cut. Excellent. All right, oh hey Katie, welcome, welcome. You might have been here earlier, but I didn't see. All right, so next one. Ooh, I love this one. I told you I put my favorites, favorites, favorites. Out of all my favorites, I put my favorite favorites at the end. All right, this one is another 14 by 14. So, Clara, if you get this one, your shipping will be really easy. <laughs> hint, hint. Um, this one is called Cobra Strike. Uh. There is 28 colors in this one. So I'm gonna have to come around for the close up. Uh, starting bids 50. Start. I know, right? Talk about a hint. Well, it is like the coolest too. So just saying, you know, you could put the two 14 by 14s together. Um, the lines on this one are just. Fabulous. I haven't entirely decided which it should go in. Actually, I think this direction. Yeah, my bad. Um, and it's got lots of gold. The metallics are all in the middle here. And then I go some out to the sides. Oh, so pretty. Yes, I did this one in a video. Um, it's It was the um, 28 color... Arteza premixed pouring mates for the rink. It was, I don't remember how long, a few weeks ago, I think. So, yeah. Love it. And we don't have only bigger ones coming, guys. We do have some smaller ones. But... <laughs> I know, it's like the palm fronds. Love it. Thank you guys. That's what they're called, right? Palm fronds? I hope so because it's really fun to say. <laughs> All right, about 30 seconds. Holly, I think you might be right. I think you might totally be correct. Hibiscus. Yeah, I can see that. I hope that's what they're called because that's what I call them all the time. <laughs> uh. All right. So we had no bids on that one. I get to keep it. It's for me. That's okay. <laughs> oh, 
a wormhole in space. That could be too. Why not? All right. So now we have this one. <laughs> okay, this one is Flower Demon. Dun, dun, dun. Black, white, and gold. This was a swipe and a string pull. I know, right? So 10 by 10, starting bids 25. I'll start the timer, come around. So someone had asked about gold. This definitely has lots of gold. Love it. So pretty, so pretty. Yeah, I've been having some fun with string pulls recently. <laughs> okay. <gasps> You know what I did, guys? I skipped a giveaway. <laughs> right after this one, we'll do a quick giveaway. My bad. All right, we have Flex Like He-Man at 32. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to like, um, I'm trying to get into some string pulls that I'm, I'm really in love with. Haven't quite gotten there yet, but this one gets on that list. <laughs> so, working on it. All right, Lauren at 34. Yeah, it's one of those techniques that really does take some practice and patience with it. Yeah, and I, I like combining the techniques. All right, I think we have Lauren at 34. Going once, going twice. We got about 30 seconds left. So we're gonna do a quick giveaway and then we have just a few more. Like one, two, three, four, five more. The giveaway is gonna be a wild and crazy one, you guys. <laughs> I usually use um just the cotton string. Like I don't know how to explain what it would be used for other than to tie tamales. Um, yeah, so this one was with that. And so it's a little bit thicker. It's not like thread. Thread is too thin. All right, we got Lauren at 34. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to do a wild and crazy giveaway. This canvas was my first spin painting ever, ever, ever. So this is like an oldie but goodie. I've been hanging on to it because I like it so much. It was wild and crazy back when I used to only use primary colors. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys like it as much as I do. It's weird. It's quirky, but it's a giveaway. Um, you can use anything to do a string pull. Literally, I've used thread. I've used necklaces. I've used... Um, ribbons i've used like everything so let's do a number again and do not throw them yet don't throw them yet okay here we go this is a eight by ten canvas so pick a number between one and a hundred and i'm going to try to stop once we get to it <laughs> so here we go here we go Oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, halt. <laughs> All right, someone got it. Let me go back here. And that was really fast. Someone must have read my mind. It was Barbie. Yay, Barbie, the number was 78. So I went back. You guys were done. The end. Barbie, please email me your address. Info at the pink to review. Oh my goodness. It's so funny when we do this because the numbers keep going for like the nut the next like hour. All right. Good job, Barbie. Woo woo. Okay. We have just a few more here. Okay. So this one holds a special place in my heart. You guys will know why. This is Lucy's tree. 
and it's a 10 by 10. So yeah, that was way at the beginning. So numbers are done. Refresh you guys. <laughs> I try, I try. Okay, starting bid on this is 20. So I'm so sorry, you moderators. Please watch for any, um, well, Bryn, let me go ahead and I'll double check. I did double check, but I'll double check one more time. Let's see. So we have, you had 76, babe. It was definitely Barbie. Yep, I double checked. So yes, this one got, <laughs> this was my messed up painting day. <laughs> All right, starting the timer. And here we go. So starting bid is 20 coming around. <laughs> All right, guys, I double checked, so it's over. So here's this next one. I know you in trees. So we have creative rainbow. So this one has um, gold. This is the neon purple. These were also done with the Arteza paints. And I love, I love the pop of gold. Like it's like a, a sunset just popping through. I love it. Bryn, I did go ahead and look. I'm so sorry, but I did go ahead and look twice. So sometimes there is a delay. We can only do the best we can. Okay, we have flexing at 36. Oh yeah, what dreams may come. I can see that. So this one's a special piece for me. <laughs> Because it was like a such a rough, such a rough day and still made it happen. Still made it happen. <laughs> Thank you, Angie. Yeah, I think we're pretty settled on that. Thank you guys all for verifying. You rock. Okay, Art by Casey at 43. Got about 10 seconds left. Creative Rainbow at 45. Still Creative Rainbow at 45. And Flex at 46. Awesome. Well done. So go ahead and send me your address. Info at the Painter and You. So next one is resin on canvas. This is once again, going right along with my whole beach theme recently. Yeah, I mean, I have a list with everybody's names, but it definitely helps to include the name of the one that you won. If you have it, if you don't, don't worry about it. I have a full list. All right, so this is a 10 by 20 canvas, and this is the one that I did on uh, the home talk video recently. You know what? I think it goes this way. So. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, I'm so sorry you feel that way. Nothing I can do about that. So starting bid on this one is 45. And that, like I said, it's a 10 by 20. It is um, all resin. So it's a resin painting. Starting the timer. Yeah, my phone rotated again. Do, 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 starting mid 45. <laughs> yeah. It can go either way. I like it this direction. This one is Paradise Under Siege. Siege. <laughs> Thank you, Heather. 
Oh, did I start? Yeah, I started the timer. And guys, I appreciate you just having fun with things because that's what this is all about. The giveaways are just fun. And even sometimes when it comes down to, you know, fighting at the end on a bid, on an auction, it really helps if everyone just stays in a game about it, you know? Doesn't get upset. We do the best we can with what we see on our end. All right. So about a minute left. Starting bid 45 on this one. And we have three after this. And then we're wrapping it up for the night. Unless you guys are still in the game. And then I have um, one more that I might do at the very end. <laughs> I appreciate you guys. All right. Maris at 45. Yeah, the mods work hard. They definitely do their best. They do a really good job. I appreciate them. <laughs> okay, we got about 20 seconds left. Do, 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 do. I think we're going to Morris. Oh, Linda at 46. Oh. <laughs> I think Maris got in there. Maris, you got in there. Yep. Okay. Nice try, Linda. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. So Maris at 47. Okay, good. So we have a couple more. Um, so the next one, we actually have two triptychs. So this is the next one. I'm going to try to put it in the correct order. This one, oh my goodness, oops. Okay, I think, Marcy, I think. Did I just mess it all up? Nope, that's how it goes. Okay. Yep, so this is a 12 by 12, but it's three pieces. And they are the, the one inch thick. So, oh, Maris, like Ferris. Okay, so sorry, Maris. <laughs> All right, um, starting bid on this one is 60. And I'm going to come around. I love this one so much too. Oh, starting timer. Okay. So these are primarily orange, purple, and bronze. So I don't really know how to show you all at once, but they are gorgeous. Come on, focus. Look at that design in there. It has so much depth. So much depth. Okay, that's the first one. And I'll mark on the back, you guys, which way they go. So there's no confusion when you're trying to hang them. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Oh, this is another one that's really hard for me to part with. It's so pretty. And here's the third. And I did, um, there was a question on the video. I didn't show fixing the sides on the video, but I did get all the sides covered <laughs> for anyone who has any questions. So this paint dries really glossy. A little hard to show fully there. I'm gonna move this down a little. There we go. Okay. Come on the ring, come on the ring. Where are we at? Where are we at? Renee at 70. Okay. We got about 30 seconds left. Jennifer, I'm not sure where you're at. <laughs> oh my gosh, this one's so pretty. I love when I have pieces like that. It's like, I'm just so, so, so in love with it. It's definitely my, my style. Whoop, 
Oh, there it is. Okay, so we have Renee at 70. Excellent. Oh, bugger. I skipped one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so I lied. We have two more. Two more. Bear with me, bear with me. Okay, so this next one is also a resin. And it is called Mermaid Tail. It's 11 by 11. And it is on MDF. I named this one myself. <laughs> Johnny wanted to name it something else, but I won. Because <laughs> to me, it's totally a mermaid tail. All right. We had a whale tail, and now we got a mermaid tail. <laughs> I know, right? All right. So start the timer. I'm going to come around. Uh, starting bit's 45. Um, shockingly. That might have been an oversight, but that's okay. <laughs> this one's also so pretty. So it has, um, this is all painted with resin, and it has mica flakes in here. It's got some of the gold dust up here. Oh, it's hard because it's really reflective. Um, and it's got some, like, teals, greens, purple, everything. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. <laughs> One day I'm going to be like crazy, crazy rich and I'm going to have a house and it's going to be covered top to bottom with paintings. It's going to be crazy. This was not in a video. This was um, one that I actually did in my um, last, in my class last weekend. Yeah. We had our two day um, acrylic pour and epoxy class. So if you come to Texas, this is one of the kind of styles that you will learn to use. We had, um, I think this is the ocean blue dye, the Aluma, uh, Aluma light ocean blue. I don't have it in here, but yeah. And then I also used, oh, you know what? It's also my bad. Sorry. Uh, the, um, cobalt, cobalt butterfly. I think the color is cobalt. The class in Texas is in Seguin. Seguin. Oh, boom. Morris, I think. So moderators, that's your vote on that. Okay. Yeah, Seguin, which I guess is sort of close to San Antonio. I don't live there, but yeah. All right. <laughs> so good. Creative rainbow at 65. Woo, woo. All right. And now another triptych. This one's a little bit bigger. So give me like a second to just put it together in the correct way. <laughs> you li live in Sakeem? Yeah. Well, I had to practice a lot, Kelly. I used to say it completely wrong. <laughs> so... <laughs> Put this now this is how it goes together in my mind but once it is yours you're allowed to do whatever you want with it um tina can you get that link one more time now the question is if we can fit this all into the screen or yes yeah, our charming charming draw if you can get that does that all fit? Can we see that all? Nope. Bugger. Okay, so all together, like if you have it like this, yeah, wide shot time. I'm gonna have to take the camera off of the tripod, I think. Um, if you have it like this, it is, um, this is 10 by 20 and these are 10 by 10s. So 30 inches. <laughs> 30 inches wide, 20 inches high, approximately, okay? And the starting bid 
is nowhere to be found. Hold on. Okay, starting bit is 70. And I'm gonna start, yeah, Tetris. This is how I would hang it, but you can totally hang it differently. Like if you wanted to put a piece like a little bit off, it would work totally fine too. Starting the timer and then I'm going to take, overlap them. Yeah, that could work too. I'm gonna take this off. So close your eyes. Camera's gonna shake for a second. Do, do, do. No. Okay. That's my best way. Oh, I could have just moved the tripod. Yeah, well, hindsight's 2020, right? Okay, so we'll just do a nice close up. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is how I would hang it. This is how I painted it to be hung like this. So this is um, black and white, gold and blue. We've got some killer lacing in here. These haven't been sealed yet, so they'll pop a bit more once they're sealed as well. And even though this is larger just due to it being three pieces, it's not going to be very expensive to ship at all. This one is actually on a Home Talk video. So it's not on my channel, but if you go to Home Talk's Facebook. No, not with resin. I just don't feel like resin fits with this one exactly. Some of them I feel like they should have a little more subtle finish. <laughs> yes, this year is hindsight. Okay, don't look at my feet. Or do, you know, whatever. I did get my toes done recently. Yeah, see, if I just move the tripod back. <laughs> I agree. Starting bid's only $70, guys. Get it, get it. Only 17 seconds left. Oh, you can't see this at all, can you? Four, three, two, one. Stop. Okay. Well, there you have it. All right, Maris, have a good night. Okay. That one we'll see. Uh, it'll probably, this one will go up on Etsy. And unfortunately, it's going to be much more expensive. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, the class in, my next class in Seguin is in April. And there is an early registration special price. Uh, if you register, I think it's like by the end of February. So, okay. Um, I'm going to take a really quick vote for another one more thing to auction off, which is not a painting, so it's a little bit unusual. Do you guys want to see, maybe? If it's something you're interested in? Yes, okay, <laughs> the answer is always yes. All right, so I just came out with these new aprons which I am personally super in love with. So I thought it would kind of be cool to do an auction with the two aprons plus a surprise art supply box. So that's, let's see. So here's one. It's one acrylic, two acrylic, three acrylic, pour. And these are, um, these are longer aprons plus they have adjustable um, neck straps and they tie in the back so they will fit almost anyone no matter how small or large you are and then i have the other one eat sleep paint repeat what what of course <laughs> who wouldn't so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna do um Starting bid $30, and that will include both of these plus a surprise art supply package and free shipping to the U.S. If you're in another country, I'm so sorry. We're going to have to add a little bit of shipping. But um, these are, they're polyester, and they're, they're hand-painted. I painted them. So 
I'm starting the timer. Woo, woo. Okay, good. I was thinking it was something you guys would probably like. I can't see the timer at all, can you? What happened? Did it, the room suddenly get brighter? <laughs> More of an angle? All right, well, you'll hear it when it goes off. It's at 20, oh. <laughs> I didn't even start it. So you guys get extra time on this one. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. You know, I haven't had dinner yet, it's late. Okay, <laughs> thank you guys. I know, hashtag adulting, hashtag doing it wrong. All right, so we have Linda at 78. I mean, I can't see this on my screen, but is that one minute and 30 seconds? Let's see if we hold them more up. Ha ha, ha ha. I know, right? Like it suddenly, it suddenly you couldn't see it. <laughs> okay, one minute. S. Haley at 80. And uh, just so you know, the art supply it in itself um, is valued at, at least, it will be at least 60 bucks. So um, overall, this was, is valued probably about uh, 100, 100 bucks or a little over 100 bucks. The, oh, that's why, Amanda. Oh my gosh. Ugh. What? Thank you so much for clarifying that for me because it was going to drive me crazy why all of a sudden I couldn't see it. <laughs> Good night, Don. Thank you so much for joining us. Okay, we have Stacy at 81. Oh my gosh. You know, I did just take an IQ test and it was 143. So I'm really not that dumb. <laughs> uh, I have a, I'm blaming it on not having dinner yet. Okay. <laughs> Boom. All right. I think Katie got in there at the last second with 82. Okay, good. Okay. All right, you guys are all amazing. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate all of you. Please do not forget to email me once again, info at thepainteramy.com. <laughs> and... Yay, that was so much fun, right guys? I think that was like one of the most fun ones ever. And um, let's see, I am going, yeah, I'm not sure. I have no idea when the next one is. But we have Artisan Summit coming up. We've got um, the class in Seguin coming up. And then I'll, I'm, I'm working on scheduling some more classes, hopefully one in Vegas soon. And then, um, one, another one in Los Angeles coming up. So, and then I'm definitely working on the East Coast, you guys. I promise, I promise. Uh, my first top states are New York and Florida. So those, I'm working on them. I promise it's not that easy to find things from across the country. <laughs> um, aprons are available to buy. Yes, they are on grungeartistapparel.com. www.grunge artistapparel.com. I think I did that right. There we go. Okay. Yeah, so much fun. Iowa, I'm not sure. Not. Um, if you can get some of the cows together for the class, we'll get it. <laughs> Just kidding. Yes. Um, hopefully a lot more states in future and other countries as well. But for now, we got what we got. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I will see you all later. Good night.